What is up guys, HF Masters here, and today we are back with another Lego Batman movie set review, and this time it is on the Joker Notorious Lowrider. This set retails for $49.99 in the United States, and it comes with 433 pieces. On the front, you can see the Joker's Lowrider, or his Notorious Lowrider, and it also shows the minifigures that come with the set. On the back of the box, it shows off some of the features of the sets. The set fully complete comes with the Notorious Lowrider, also known as Joker's Car, the main attraction of the set. It also comes with three minifigures, Harley Quinn, the Joker, and Batgirl. Alright, taking a look at the Notorious Lowrider, my just first opinion is this set is just awesome. I really like how this came out. Uh, probably one of my favorite part is one of the features it has, the uh, suspension. And that is just done by a simple kind of like rubber band technique. They actually use two for each side. So that's unique, you know, you can have some suspension with that, which is uh, fun for the kids. Also comes with like this horn I guess that's cool as well the back has a trunk which you can open up and as you can see you actually have some missiles I'm gonna show how those work later but I just want to go into a few more details all right taking a look at the front as you can see there is a Joker license plate along with these kind of transparent uh, stud pieces to show off some lights and uh, obviously, you know, of course, a chicken, because why wouldn't there be a chicken? And you can just see a different angle. You can see some of the, the seats there, the steering wheel, the horn, and you can also see some of the uh, texturing going on with the front. All right, taking a look at the cab, you can obviously see that, first of all, the seats have this kind of zebra, like, print style going on. And also over here, there's something that I'm assuming is a radio. Also, taking a look at another angle, you can see that the, this is obviously a two-seater, and it also comes with a gear shift and a steering wheel. Also, one thing you can do is these chairs are movable. Now, obviously I mentioned that there was a play feature on this set, and what you have to do you have to open up the trunk and then there are a few kind of like blue like pins as you can see there and um, it's gonna be really tr kind of tricky to show this off but what you have to do you have to place your finger on the blue pin and the shot will fire and here's what the function looks like at a top angle with the roof removed. And it is important to mention that this set comes with an extra one of these kind of green, you know, shots in case of uh, you lose one. And lastly, here is the Joker and his notorious lowrider. Now, there are a few issues with putting the Joker in his uh, car. First thing is. Like, what is what is up with the hand? Like, what what's happening? Why? Um, that's an issue. He, he can't really have his hand in a good area. And another issue is, there's nowhere to really place his, his like, weapon, his, like, uh, his, so, his, like, bang thing. So, you have to put it in, like, the trunk. But the trunk doesn't actually fully close. So, that's kind of awkward. So, I mean, you can't really get a lot in the trunk, so that's actually not really too great with the set. However, if you don't want to put this in the trunk, I mean, you can obviously just easily just throw it in here. So, it's just a small kind of thing, but it is a noticeable thing. Alright, taking a look at the minifigures, as you can see, Harley Quinn comes with a bat. The Joker comes with like this bang gun microphone thing. And then Batgirl comes with the Batarang. Nothing too special for Batgirl. And on the front of the figures, you can see some of the printings. And one noticeable thing is, one thing I, I just really like is the fact that Harley Quinn comes with the two skates. 
On the back of the minifigures, as you can see, you can obviously see printing for the Joker and Harley Quinn. However, for Batgirl, the printing is kind of covered up by the cape. However, one thing that's interesting to mention is a hairpiece that comes with Batgirl. And lastly, here are the alternate faces along with the back printing. And here is just the regular face of Batgirl because it gets covered up by the mask. Alright, so overall, the Joker's Notorious Lowlander is a very solid set. The car is obviously the main attraction, and it is a very nice and cool car. However, there really isn't too much kind of like play value with the set. It's more just kind of a cool looking set that you can drive around with. I mean, sure, you do have the kind of shooting function, but for a lot of the kids that, you know, really, really want to have some action going on, I mean, you really won't get kind of those features going on with this that I'm sure you can imagine, you know, some crazy scenarios going on with the car. But um, some of the features it has, it just doesn't really have enough to justify kind of like a, a really good play set. It's, this kind of set is just more of like imaginary play. You, you gotta like really think of stuff uh, that you would want to do with this set. So overall, this set is not a bad set. It's actually like a very solid set. I really enjoy the build. I'm sure collectors will love this. However, depending on which kind of like child you have or you know, you would want to give this for a gift, like you may just want to reconsider because again, some of the play features in this, uh, I mean, I'm not saying they're bad. They're they're pretty good. But um it's just it's for like a different, you know, type of play. There's all sorts of play. This is more of an imaginary play that you would have to get out of this. But overall, I think this set is a very good set. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review on the Joker's Notorious Lowrider. And until next time, this is HF Masters saying goodbye.